Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be starting a new legacy challenge. I've been wanting to start a new legacy challenge, specifically this one that I have in mind for a while now. But now just seems like a great time, considering we have the Growing Together pack coming out next month and the free infant update. So I think it will be really interesting to start a legacy challenge now and just kind of see how it changes. Of course, being my legacy challenge, I get to choose the rules. I'm of course going to stick with the usual legacy challenge rules of having one young adult sim on an empty lot with only 1800 simoleons to start with. On top of that, I'm also going to choose some lot challenges. I think I'll go with simple living and off the grid. And I also want this to be a kind of creative, artistic, crafty, legacy so by the end of 10 generations if i do make it we'll have like a crafty empire <laughs> so i'm going to give every kid that's born into the legacy family the creative trait and all of the legacy heirs have to pick a creative aspiration i really like playing legacy challenges i like seeing the family tree grow hopefully i'll be able to finish this one because i've never actually finished a legacy challenge before but so the first thing we need to do is make our legacy air. So let's see who we end up with. I'm gonna put my glasses on for this because otherwise I'm gonna get a headache. Okay, usually I'm not very creative when it comes to actually making sins. So I'm just gonna um, cycle through some random ones and see who <laughs> piques my interest. I like the dress, I do. She seems cool, actually. <sighs> I like her nose ring. I like the, I mean the outfit needs work. Just like all um, outfits do in The Sims, but I don't know, let's pick her. Okay, so I just took a little bit of time to create a Sim. I also had a snack while I was doing it because I was really hungry. But her name is Erin Ponder. I'm not particularly creative when it comes to naming things, so I just randomize until something I liked came up. And I quite like the name Ponder, I think it sounds whimsical. So she is neat, family oriented, and creative, of course. And I gave her the painting aspiration because I figured painting's probably the easiest way to get the most money in the shortest amount of time. Um, I also forgot to mention I will be playing on short lifespan, so um, the faster we can make money the better. I just gave her some outfits. I quite like giving my sims five um, everyday outfits um, and then like two of everything else, but we don't need to look at all of that now. I'm sure we'll, we'll see it at some point. This is our legacy founder. I'm happy that she um, randomized with the family-oriented trait because the last time I tried to start a legacy challenge, my sim was evil, a kleptomaniac, and erratic. And that was, that made it a little bit difficult. <laughs> I don't want to make it like super, super hard and start in summer or winter. So I think I just start in spring. And I've decided I want to play in Hanford on Bagley in this 50 by 40 lot. It's already got the wild foxes and off the grid lot challenges, so unfurnished, yeah, like doesn't come with any furniture. Just the trees. <laughs> so I wanted to put the off the grid wild foxes and simple living lot challenges up, but then I'm also gonna let myself have three lot traits um, to try and make it slightly less difficult. So our home to Old Mill Lane. Um, I also want to put the Simple Living Lot Challenge on. And then for the traits, we do Geothermal, Natural Well, and then I also think Natural Light might be a good choice. I'm also gonna go ahead and make it a tiny home. I need at least four tiles. Well, 
Let's turn sheets on. And take our money down to 1,800 simoleons. I know it's not like a super extreme start, but it's my legacy challenge and I can do what I want. So that doesn't cost anything. Haha. <laughs> -ha. From the front, I want it to look like a normal house. And give it a roof because roofs are free. Go. I don't even know if I'm gonna get any more paper. Should I get a door or not bother? I think I'll see what I can fit on the inside first and then think about a door. Alright, what do I need? Um I don't really need a fridge yet because I can just go to the pub and get a meal. I think I probably could do with a toilet, to be honest. And then a bed. And an easel, because I want to start painting straight away. There. I just need at least a hundred to actually do some paintings. Now that is what I call a sad house. <laughs> Look at it. Oh gosh. Well, you've got something. So I'm going to need candles. Candles are the only things that work. <laughs> oh, here we go. I can get an oil lamp. There we go. Now we've got 470. Classic painting. Let's just start with a small one. Listen to the birds. Aren't they cute? It's generating a water slip. Okay. And a power slip. There you go. Now we can get a real light. I knew it wouldn't take very long. Let's keep painting. Yes, of course you like painting. <gasps> bunny! Hello, Bunny. Ask about the bramble wood. Don't like that, do you? Well, sorry. Carrot? I'm sorry I don't have any carrots. I don't have much of anything, actually. Who's here? Oh, it's the welcome wagon. Good luck finding a front door, because I don't have one. Are you gonna give me the fruit cake or? <laughs> you just putting them on the ground? Thanks. I'll eat that. I'm not ashamed. I'll just eat off the ground. Yep. Sit on the bed and eat. And you also have nowhere to put. For now, I think I'll just buy this waste basket. Let me check my calendar while I'm here. Oh god. Well, it's love day on Friday. You age up into an adult in nine days because we're on short lifespan. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Mmm. How are you tired? You know what? Fine. Sleep. We pretty much doubled our money on day one. That's not too bad. To the pub for breakfast then, shall we? Is she cleaning the toilet? Oh, she's neat. Oh, yeah. Alright, who's here at 6.44 in the morning on a Monday? Just, just Sarah. Well, let's order some food. Eggs and toast. Are you smelling? Should I splurge and get a shower later? <laughs> Travel home, because I'm confident and I want to make use of that. <laughs> Look at how sad my ass is. Oh dear. That's the whole painting, is it? Oh gosh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can afford. It's not about looking good, it's about what works at this point. Let's get this all. Okay. I mean, we still don't have a door. This will be our first of three emotional paintings. I don't know what other kinds of emotions we're going to be in over the next little while. Hmm. Oh, it's a kitty. Cute. Is that kitty confident? 
I have to assume so. I'm not gonna get um, a regular job, I don't think. I'm just gonna paint as much as possible. Just, just do another confident painting. It counts. It's like a belly button. Okay, worse than the last one. The social need is poor. May as well go back to the pub because no one was there when I was there last time. Same with Cecilia. Yeah. Don't give her the side eye. Gosh. <laughs> Bold pickup line. Why not? Listen. We're playing on short lifespan. We do not have that much time. Oh. Apparently she likes that. And now she's flirty. Okay. Okay. Let's just, let's try. Let's be single. Don't walk away. What? Really? Oh, damn it. Cecilia. <laughs> oh. I don't have time for you, Paolo. You have the same name as that guy, Liz McGuire. Apparently I do have time for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, no. No. Let's say hi to Candace. She's flirty. Let's just try it. <laughs> Everyone I try to flirt with leaves. Fine. Fine, I'll leave too. Sad little house we go. I still reckon Cecilia is the best bet. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I'm gonna try. Can the foxes just come into my house because I don't have two walls? It's a hypothesis that is yet to be tested. It almost looks like a self-portrait. Actually, I want to invite Cecilia. So I'm going to have to do it via the phone. Trouble. With Cecilia. I know you're hungry, but like, we've got more pressing things to do right now. Really? Oh my god. Confess attraction. No. Where'd she go? Where did she go? She just left. Oh my god. Alright, who's this then? Alexander Brunson. Always oh, inspired, that's a good sign. Let's enthuse about painting. That is like a really well textured crumpet. It looks like a real crumpet. Is he leaving now too? Oh my god. Finish your crumpet, we're going home. I would really love to be able to actually build you. a sort of house by the end of this episode. I think if I get like two more paintings out of you then I should be able to do it. <gasps> it's a masterpiece. I guess. How much is it worth? <gasps> yes. I literally don't care. Yay, now we have 3,000. All right, come and stand out here so you're not in my way. And I'm gonna build you a better house. It's still gonna be bad, but maybe it's slightly less bad. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna want bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. I might bring it out one this way and one this way. That's still only 25 tiles. Oh, it's called the crochet flower doll. Isn't that cute? 
I just want some simple windows. Maybe these ones. I might get a couple of those just for like my little painting area. Let's get a fridge. This one. Yellow and white, I think. Matching cheap appliances. Here we go. Sink. I did want a window for the kitchen too. Maybe this one. Just for above the sink. What kind of flooring can we get for cheap? We can get this waterfall. Yeah, you can get some tile for the bathroom. Oh, I don't want to not have enough um, to buy more canvases though, is the thing. And what colour should we get? Pink, honestly. I feel it. I kind of feel like I want pink. Look at the roof. <laughs> Let's fix that in a second, shall we? I don't know if that door colour goes anymore. Let's pick a different door. Oh, the green's cute. Get another one of these, which is next to it. Honestly, these two windows are probably unnecessary, but... I have 247 left. Mm, that green's better. I prefer that. How's that look? Not terrible. That wasn't too bad. Get some tiles. Let's get this one. Yeah, might even would be able to afford a tiled backsplash. Yeah, okay. look at that. A little house. It has almost everything we need. And we still got 155 simoleons. Sure, it's not the most attractive house, but it's a house, that's for sure. I think I will end it there for today. Um, we've built a tiny little house, so I think we're making good progress. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next episode. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.